Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. How come you're still using a gas-powered car? What a loser. Hi, I'm the narrator, also known as the CEO of LEGO City Energy. If you don't want to be an absolute loser like this guy, then try renewable energy today. Unlike non-renewable energy like fossil fuels that hurt it, Ow. renewable energy is good for the Earth. One way you can participate is by using wind power. Wind power! Wind turbines like these create energy by using the wind. They're able to do this because of their massive blades, which spin when the wind blows on them. This spinning motion rotates the rotor, which powers a generator creating energy. Why you should use it, also known as the benefits. Number one, wind power is eco-friendly. Number two, some places are extremely windy and thus would create a lot of energy. At a first glance, this may seem like a great option, but then you start to notice the disadvantages. Number one, some places aren't very windy and wouldn't generate much power. Number two, on this wonderful planet we live on, there is a lot of beautiful places. However, these big ugly wind turbines can detract from that beauty. Number three, they're very loud. Wind power isn't exactly ideal for personal use. In fact, most wind farms, which are large, open, and windy fields, are owned by major power companies like us. However, for the low, low price of one gazillion dollars a month, you too can use our wind power with our family plan. Then again, wind power wouldn't exactly be my first choice. Instead, I'd recommend solar power. When you're on a spaceship, Using nuclear energy isn't always practical. So instead, astronauts have resorted to using solar power. They do this by using solar panels, which collect energy from the sun. You don't have to be an astronaut to use these though, because they work down here on Earth too. Number one, just like wind power, solar power is eco-friendly. Number two, harnessing solar power is easy. And number three, they look cool. Speaking of which, before you decide to be the cool kid on the block and install solar panels, you may want to consider the disadvantages. Number one, solar panels can only turn a little bit of sunlight into energy, making it inefficient. Number two, solar panels are very expensive. Number three, some places get little to no sunlight, making solar panels there useless. If you do decide to get solar panels, it doesn't take long to get started. You just call up a solar company and they'll be at your house in a jiffy. Now, if the last two options didn't appeal to you, there's always the third one. Introducing Hydropower, also known as hydroelectric power. If you happen to own a river, then hydropower is for you. All you need to do is build a fancy dam with water wheels inside. Then by using the power of science, the rushing water hits the wheels, creating energy. Benefits! Number one. Once they're built, hydro dams are very cheap. Cheap. Number two. They're very sustainable. Sustainable. Number three. The last two, they're eco-friendly. Eco-friendly. This may seem like a great option, but once you dig a little deeper, you really start to notice the is number one. making these dams requires cutting down a lot of trees number two these dams can mess with the natural flow of rivers some people have to abandon their homes in order for these dams to be built option probably isn't the best if you don't own a river but just like with our wind farms you can use our fam you can use our family plan which one is best for you own a big windy field power is for you if you don't have as much space then you should settle for solar power it's also the safest out of the three it doesn't take up as much space meaning it doesn't get in the way of nature river owners you know that hydropower is meant for you you'll create so much energy you could share with the whole neighborhood in fact you could even charge for it if you do pick the path be aware of its many dangers Without proper care, your dam could collapse. The rest of you, you can use our family plan. Now, some of you may be wondering, but narrator, why 
is LEGO City Power. Well, the obvious answer is we have a monopoly on all electricity, so you don't really have a choice. But there's more to our company than that. We have the power to unite. The, the Himalayas will spin our wind turbines. The hot Sahara Desert sun will power our solar panels. Amazon, the Mississippi, the Nile, will, they'll create so much hydroelectric power, we'll be able to go to the moon. The whole planet will make power, and we will evolve. From this day forth, we are no longer the United States of America, but rather, the United Continents of Planet Earth, and we stay strong together! The energy. Wow, that's expensive. Call now at 123-4567.